Okay, we are recording. Hi, hello, happy February. Um, I am super excited for this. So when I took this week's Zoom, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't even think it was around Valentine's Day when I had my hair pink. It might have been. Um, for this Zoom, I wanted to start us off with a bang and something that I'm really trying to intentionally do that we always try to do, but I want to put more of a focus on it is really pulling up women that we see are killing it in certain areas, not just in enrollments and ranks. Today, I'm going to specifically interview somebody that absolutely smashed going for 4k and I believe even got one of the leaderboards last month, right? Um, absolutely like killed it. And I think that that's so inspiring, but also I'm going to be adding in interviewing all different types of people. Like if you signed your first customer, like we want to hear how you did it, right? If you had an aha in your self-development, we want to hear how you did it. I want to start really pulling on people that have never spoken on zooms before that have never been interviewed before and just adding as much value as we can this year with, um, just hearing from different people because I think it's so powerful. So I'm going to be interviewing Araya. I'm saying that right, right? Araya? Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Yes. Um, okay. Heather did have to tell me because I was saying Aria and she was like, no. <laughs> okay. Sorry. All family members that pronounced my name wrong. So Okay. So I'm getting brownie points then. That's good. Um, but I wanted to bring her on. I want to have her as we do normally, just have her tell a little bit about her story and what brought her here, why she came to thrive and kind of how, um, like the first month in her business was, she's only been in for about two months at this point. And then kind of what shifted when she ran after 4k last month. So that's what I want to start with is just kind of a little bit about your story, what brought you to thrive and why you wanted to join. So first off, I have been with other networking businesses and like, I felt like I was just busting my tail, like working so hard and I was getting literally nowhere, no extra income. I was taking my products and, you know, they would work, but that's a good thing. But when you're doing it for the business side and you have a family, that's not cutting it. Like that's not what I was in it. I was, I was, wasn't in it for that. Um, so I seen Connor and Teddy posting their sisters here. Well, one should be on here, Connor. She's going to speak, but I seen Connor just, she had been with another company too. And she was just literally thriving, just moving up, you know, and I wanted that. And then her sister joined and nine days she hit, you know, her bonuses and then 4k. And I've, grown up with them like I lived with them and I was like you know what those girls are out there doing it. I was like I am gonna do this that is what I want you know and so I Teddy just messaged she was just texting me she didn't even say anything about Thrive or the you know the company or whatever and I said so what's this company you're doing like what are you doing and um I was like blah 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 and it was December or November and there was like a promotion going on or something so I was like heck yeah I'm joining so I joined and from there, I have just had a fire in me to do this. Like I see all of y'all's success, not, you know, just yours in, but everybody you know, and all the encouragement and because being a mom, I don't get out. I don't, I don't really have friends and all that good stuff. So like, this is awesome. I keep those, I, I rarely mute the conversations because I, am I cutting out? Okay. Sorry. No, it's good. Yeah, you're okay to me. It's a little laggy at some points, but I can still hear everything you're saying. You're good. Okay, yeah. So I joined, and like I said, I've just had this fire in me. I don't know where I was going. But then um, I hit my first bonus. I hit my first $400 bonus. I did not hit the second one, so I kind of got devastated, but I did not let that get me down. I stayed in touch with my uplines, um, and then I – then I went higher. I went to Connor. I started talking to her and even Heather, you know, I just don't talk to one upline. I talk to more than one and it is awesome. Like, I love the connection that we have because I'll be stressed. I'm like, oh my gosh, y'all haven't got anyone in like a day or two. And they're like, it's fine. Araya, you're going to get this. You're going to do this. And they just encourage me so much. Um, but something in January, like it just hit. I wanted to go 4k. Connor was 4k. Teddy was 4k. I was like, I am not staying at the bottom. That's not where I want to be. I'm ready to rank up. And so 
when I set my mind to something, I'm going to do it. There's no, there's no stopping. So I started and I started getting out and I started talking to people and I started talking to my mom's friends. My daughter goes to a school that I, I know nothing about. I write, I don't even know anyone there, but they've added me on Facebook and they've seen my changes, my weight loss. I've lost 14 pounds since I started November 26th. And they're like, what are you doing? I want to do this. You know, you look good. Um, so they got with me and they were just like, I want to order. And so I do, I do all of it for them. Like I'll set up their account to make it easier on my customers. It, it's so much easier. And, um, I've learned that that has helped a lot. And when I'm messaging people, I also ask them, you know, like we're talking, we're talking about the products. And then I go, I don't ever tell them a price. I say, what is your price range? I'd love to help you. And that in January, I think was the message that helped so much in one week. I think I sold, I can't, that I actually got third in that promo thing we were, or that contest we were doing, I don't know. And um, I hit a thousand dollar bonus, but I signed so many people that week that I was in shock. And yes, it's awesome to get a 200 or a $400 package if they want to be a promoter or something, but I just wanted to hit 4k. So I just told everyone, you know, uh, you can, get what I'm doing, the three steps, $150. That is it. And they all got those packs. And so that helps so much. So don't stress if you're not getting those, you know, big packs. If you see other people getting those big packs and stuff, do not stress. Just go for the $150 packs. They will add up, I promise. Um, and then do you want me to go to daily routine or do you want to talk some, or yeah. I just have like what you told me here. So yeah. I'm going to add one thing in and then I can hop to the next thing. I think that there's two things that are so important with what you just said. Number one, I think that sometimes we are more afraid to have conversations with people that we actually know. At least I'm that way. Like if we're at Thanksgiving or like Christmas and like his aunt will like ask me something. I literally am like paralyzed and like, I can't talk about what I do, but if you DM me, like I got you, you know, I can say everything I want to say, but what we have to remember sometimes is like the people that know us off social media, they will see so much more of a transformation, not just in our weight, but in the way we act. Like you said, like you saw them literally thriving, like enjoying things, rocking a business, loving their products. People can watch you transform, not just on social media. So it's so important to never count those people out because like, I was so afraid to talk about the business to people for so long that when like people in person would ask me, I would almost like dismiss it. Like, I don't know why I was like that, but I was just like, Oh, it's just like this little thing I do. It's our full time income. And I'm not like acting like it's as incredible as it is. So never be afraid to talk to people that ask you questions when they're your family or at your kid's school or anything. Those are the people that are literally watching in front of you. Like they're seeing you transform. So I love that. Um, and I also love what you said about prices. I think that sometimes also we, like if somebody's like, Oh, I can't afford that. I talk about this all the time. We're like, oh, okay. And then like you end the conversation and you can't do that. If you can meet people where they're at with their budget, I don't care if they just want to start with one product as a customer, right? Does the three step work better together? Yes. But if that's their budget and that's what serves them at that point, do not be afraid of those smaller orders. They add up. It's all a part of the compounding of it. And instead of just counting somebody out, like when they're like, Oh, I can't afford that. Do what she says, ask what their budget is, ask what their, you know, they can do what their health goals are and what they are able to put in. And don't just like end it. If they're like, Oh, well that's expensive or that's too much for me. Say, okay, tell me what can you spend? Like, what are your goals? But what is your budget? And I love that you met them there. And that's what got you on that leaderboard is because you were meeting people where they were at and serving them where they were at. And it didn't matter if it was a $40 order or a $200 order, you were helping every single person. Um, so I love that. I wanted her next to talk about, she kind of talked about that mindset shift, but was there anything like with your daily routine that you started to do more of, or that you amped up when you were running towards that promotion and just in general, like what does a day in your business look like? So I started watching videos on the hustling thrive tribe. Every time I got a chance still to this day, I watch those videos, no matter if y'all posted them a year ago or months ago, I still watch them. When I'm driving down the road, I give my daughter the iPad where she's 
you know, set and I turn on my phone, connect it to my cart, and I listen to those, to those videos. Um, some people may think that, you know, you know, they're old, blah, blah, blah. I don't need to watch that. I'm going to be successful with this business, you know, just by um, the Zooms and stuff that they're having now. You have to watch those. They are so very important on how to move up in this business. Um, and yes, trainings are so gold. And something, uh, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, oh, my daily. So I get on um, one of the videos where your story, you know, posting on your story because not everyone sees your post on Facebook. You'll see someone else's post for so many months or weeks and then it goes away and then you got new people coming in. So your posts are also doing that on other people's page, but your story, people, they're viewing that. They, they are seeing that story because it's just so quick to go through and they can see pictures just like Instagram. Um, but that has helped so much because all they do is swipe up or, you know, or just click down there and they, they reply. And I find that so much easier to have conversations with than someone, you know, commenting on my Facebook post and saying, Hey, what are you doing? And you're like, Hey, I'll message you, you know, and some people just don't want to be messaged like that. They would rather, you know, go off the story. Um, and then Instagram, I started posting there. I was never a big poster on my story on Instagram, started posting there. And then we don't talk about it much on here, but I even moved to Snapchat. Like I am trying to use all social medias and I just got my Twitter back. So I'm going to try, you know, going there, but Snapchat, I make stories and I get feedback there as well. No matter if, you know, if I make a story and I only reach out to one or two people, my story has made it out to those two people that can help boost my business. Um, but that, that's honestly, that's honestly it. My routine, just no, stay wonder. active. Consistency. Exactly. That's it's what it key. is. It's staying active in your business and just active on social media. And that's what she's saying. Like, it doesn't matter what specific, cause I get that question all the time. Like, do you work Facebook more? Do you work Instagram more? And I'm like, I just want eyes on what I'm posting. So I'm going to put the same effort in and I'm going to get it in as many and in front of as many people as I can. And don't like, like discriminate on social media platforms. If you're killing on Instagram, that's, I would say my stories is like 90% of where I do my business because it is that like casual interaction and conversation where it's not as like, I think kind of frightening for somebody to reach out or say like, Hey, I have to comment on that and this and that. It makes a very like easy conversation in my opinion on stories. And that's why I think so much of my business does come from there. Um, yeah. So I love that. And what was the other thing I wanted to say? Oh, you mentioned too about reaching up and like how you were talking to like, not just your upline, but who enrolled her and who enrolled her. And that's why I brought them on here too. I'm going to ask them a couple questions after, but guys, don't be afraid to ask questions. We say this all the time. Like, can I answer something immediately? Not always, but an upline will always get back to you. And what I always say, especially if you have a team member that reaches out to somebody else, I know that sometimes like it can be weird. You're like, well, why aren't they coming to me? Or like, why didn't they ask me? But honestly, like you do not know who holds their breakthrough. And I always say that like somebody may join me, but they may hear one thing from another leader that completely changes their business that I couldn't have poured into them because we're two different people. Um, so never be afraid. Like if you vibe with somebody, if you love their trainings, even if it's not just your upline, never be afraid to get different opinions or to talk to different people. We're always here as a community to pour into everybody. I don't care if I enrolled you or not, if we can help in any way or direct you somewhere in the team page, we're going to do it for you. So I love that you kind of like brought in just who you were talking to and who was helping you. Um, okay. The last two things that I wanted to ask was just like your number one tip for a newbie coming in. And then maybe one for somebody who's been in, but is pushing for four for the first time, just like a little quick tip that they can do in their business. So a little tip for newbies is do not go into the business and, you know, post, do not be afraid to post. You're going to lose business by not posting. But when you do post, you're going to get, I mean, you're going to get someone stay. My biggest thing is stay consistent, stay consistent with your products, stay consistent with your posting. And then for people that are trying to reach 4k, do not give up. Like I have to hit it again this month to get, you know, I got the 
2K bonus for hitting 4K. So I have to hit it again. And I'm not giving up. Yes, I'm doing it by myself. That's another thing. I did the 4K literally by myself. It was so hard. But I didn't give up. And I think that's why I reached it. So just keep pushing. You will get there one day. And it is so worth it. It feels so good. So just stay consistent. That's huge. Yeah. I love that so much, especially for newbies. I think that getting into the routine of posting is scary and where a lot of people fall off because they just don't know what to do. And I can promise you that, yes, it feels uncomfortable, but if you can even just for a week straight commit to posting once a day, you're going to be in a routine and it becomes more natural. And if you go to the team page under the topics, there's a whole little section on, I think it's called like content and posting. If you ever just need like ideas, um, I think also Amanda posted like a guideline for every day of the week for like different things you can pop up and post stay consistent with it and have the things in front of people. And that is so important. Um, and just congratulations. Cause that was incredible. And that was the number one thing I saw in you is just that you were like, I'm doing it. And I know that that might sound funny, but like that is what it takes is it takes deciding because if you are still afraid of it or you say, okay, I'm going to do it. But in the back of your head, you have those doubts. It can't happen. You have to full force say, I'm going to go for it. And that's when people start to come into your inbox. That's when you start to inspire people and your passion showing because you were on fire. Um, okay. I absolutely love that. Thank you so much. I wanted to also ask Connor and Heather, anybody can unmute themselves and ask this, but with being in her upline, I wanted to ask like, what was the biggest shift you noticed in her, whether it was in her mindset or what she was doing daily for her business, anything like that, like from a leader looking onto what she was doing every day, did you notice anything shift in last month? Connor, you got this one? Oh, okay. <laughs> I know whose turn it was to talk, so I didn't say anything. You go for it. Okay. Um, so from Ara first starting, of course, she was kind of like me. Um, I came from a different company where we had to cold message and stuff. So she was like, I don't understand like how I'm supposed to get people. And I had explained, you know, attraction marketing. I said, I'm new to this too. I mean, I don't. I'm, I'm really unsure how to work this myself, but like we're going to do this together. Um, I said, I know me and Teddy got started off really quick. It, it took two whole weeks for my sister to finally be like, okay, I want to join you too. And then a ride came along. And so it's like a slow start for everybody. And then literally January hit. And I don't even know, like, it was just like a fire lit. And I'm like, hold up. Where'd you come from? what's going on even heather was like i was texting heather every day like okay y'all my mind is alone i don't know what is going on in our eyes mind right now but literally every day all day me and her are texting her i was like i'm doing this i'm hitting 4k i'm like i'm running with you i'm like i'm gonna put as much effort as you like I'll, i'm gonna push you every day if you want me to say araya you know get on your phone and work get on your phone and work we were talking to each other non-stop every day and she's like I'm doing this I'm like you're right you are doing this but I was hyping her and she was hyping me like we just had to go back and forth all day long and I think that helped a lot too knowing that my sister was actually her upline but um I just think even though Teddy kind of dropped off um she has a lot going on I reached out to all of her downlines it was like listen my sister's kind of in a rough spot right now um, she's really pregnant, having some pregnancy issues. So I'm going to step in. If y'all have any questions, ask me, like, I just had to step in that way. I'm like, if I'm not here, message Heather. I'm like, she's my upline. So if there's any questions, one of us can get to you, but Teddy's just not available right now. And a ride just took off, but she had that mindset of, I want 4k. I'm going 4k. Like I'm going to hit 4k. No, I don't care what it takes. I'm going to do it. And she like never once let it go into the back of her head. Like she was full force from day one. So I love that. And I think that that's so important too. They train a lot on this in network marketing and something we don't talk about enough is if that happened, because we all have seasons of life, there are going to be seasons where I may be absent or somebody else may be absent. We all go through so many different things. Don't be afraid 
to step in for somebody. Don't be afraid to reach down and say, Hey, they might not be working. They may, you know, need some time off right now, but no, you can come to me. Cause sometimes that lack of communication, people can fall off. Right. And imagine if you wouldn't have had that connection to have that fire with her every day, her breakthrough might, it might not have happened. Right. And then that affects your business too. And everybody else's business too. And when you guys can go in it together and like I would say, blur those lines, like don't think of it just as upline and downline, like just be there for each other. And if somebody's in a season, cover them, get them them. You can still help their team and pull them through that. Um, I love that. Thank you. Cause you guys were on fire. I remember Heather texted me and she was like, she's just going and she's going and going and she's not stopping. And I was like, let her go. I'm like, cheer on. She's got this. Cause it was literally out of nowhere, but it's that fire. And once you decide, and like you said, it was always in the forefront. Like every day she woke up and that's what she said. That's what she spoke out. That's what she talked about. Don't let it slip. Cause when it slips, that's when you lose your fire. So Heather, what do you got? So I just have to add that, first of all, Araya has a full-time job. She has two kids. She does thrive. And then she comes home after she gets off work. She cooks. She cleans. She does the laundry. She's married. She has absolutely no excuses whatsoever. And I think the most important thing that I noticed last month was she made the business a priority. Instead of saying, I don't have time for this, she kind of shifted her mindset with, is this a priority? And absolutely it was for her. And something that really um, is heavy on my heart is whenever you join this business, if you want to join just to thrive for free, that's perfect. You know, we, like Lindsay said last night, we meet you where you're at. But when you join and you expect to get a full-time income out of this and you're not doing the things for your business to make a full-time income off of it, you have to really step back and say, well, is this a priority or am I just making excuses? And Araya made no excuses last month. I know like it was like two days before month in and Connor messaged me at like seven in the morning. Like I was asleep. I woke up at eight o'clock and she said, yeah, me and Araya have already been working. She signed a customer. I'm like, dude, it's eight o'clock in the morning. Like what the heck is going on with y'all? But it didn't matter. I mean, they worked their tails off and I'm just, so proud and something else that is really it's it gets under my skin is when you want a thrive when you want to make thrive a full-time income you have to do everything possible so if that means i like i know things happen like kids get sick or you know family members get sick or you have to go to work or you have to do this but thrive palooza is coming up you guys and it's a hundred dollars I can't tell you the amount of hundred dollar bills I've spent on something that didn't benefit me and didn't help my business. So if you can't spend a hundred dollars to go to Thrive Palooza for three days, it's a hundred dollars for three days. And I know for some people it's hard to get there because you live so far away. But if you're so close to Grapevine, Texas, and you can't spend a hundred dollars, then you have to really step back and say, well am I making my business a priority? Because Thrive Palooza is crucial to our business. I know so many people in here have said, oh, shoot, sorry, I'm, I'm hot. I'm having a hot flush. I know so many people have said, like, I ranked up after I left Thrive Palooza. I was, like, so motivated because we were in the same room with so many like-minded people. So if you don't make that a priority and get to Thrive Palooza or an event, or if you're not even watching trainings, how do you expect to make this a full-time income because you're not making it a priority? So that's, I think that's pretty much it. I just, I love the fact that she showed up so much. She didn't make excuses when she had every possible reason. I mean, like she has a job and kids and everything. She had every possible reason she could have made an excuse about, and she absolutely didn't. She just went to work. She said she was doing it. And the thing is, like, I love reaching out to my downlines. I don't want to check in with them every single day because I don't want to bug them. And if they're not ready to run, I'm not going to push. So when she messaged me and said, I'm doing 4K, I was like, okay, let's do it. And the fact that she did it all by herself, I didn't place anyone under her. Connor didn't place anyone under her. She brought in $4,000 in sales in one month by herself. That is incredible, you guys. So I'm so proud. Of my team I'm just so thankful and I'm so excited to see what the rest of this month and the rest of this year holds because we're not stopping here I love that it was it was just absolutely incredible and I think that it's what we always say like get close to the fire and whether that's an event like Heather's talking about or it's just watching somebody 
run like that towards a promotion. When you catch it, you catch it and you go. And that's why we always say stay close to the fire. If you need your upline, message them. If you need somebody to run with you, find an accountability partner. You have to speak out what you need, right? And you have to run after it. And once you get, it's like, it's like a virus. Like once you get it, you're gone. You don't stop. It's what you think about. It's what you focus on and your excuses are the reason why you need to do it so, so bad. Um, so that was incredible. Thank you. I have one last thing for tonight. Um, I had somebody reach out to me that I have personally enrolled and she just said that she wants to share a little about her story and speak what's on her heart and kind of like the mindset shift that she's had. And I'm just so proud of her for speaking up and saying that she wanted to pour into us. So I'm going to unmute Megan and just let her talk to you guys for a little bit to close this out and then we will end it and I will post it later. Let me just find her. Okay. You are new. There you are. Hi. Hi. How are you? Sorry, am I unmuted? Hold on. Yes, you were unmuted. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just got home. So it's just like, excuse the, no, excuse no. the mess I've got going on. <laughs> no, totally. Um, I wanted to, so I wanted to come on here. Um, I joined September. It was kind of like in the middle of September. Um, it was actually M's wedding week. And I, I, I I'm sorry. I'm so nervous on these things, but she, she was such an amazing leader. It's just, I didn't want to bug her during her wedding week. And I had so many questions, but I just, I felt bad because I didn't want to message her because I was like, Oh my gosh, this is her, this is her day. And I was so happy. And then her and I today were talking about her post that she made, which M, I'm so proud of you. And I was trying to find this cute little thing that I shared on Facebook to send to you because I was like, I can just imagine her kid. This, if it's a girl, Oh my God, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my mind shift, my mind shift changed. So I came from a previous company, and they taught us to spam, spam, spam. So when I joined this, I had that mindset still, and I was caught up in it. And I think so many people that were following me, they knew that I had that mindset still, and that's why in the beginning I didn't get anybody because they were all like, oh no, she's still with it works. Like I had people thinking that I quit my job when I made my video of like, oh, I switched to another MLM company. Like I had people commenting on it saying, oh my God, did you quit your full-time job? And I was like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> so now I work two jobs uh, still and I'm working right now. Um, I actually had $800 stolen from me. And so I'm just, I'm having a hard time. Uh, today was really long. I can't pay my rent or my car. So it's just like kind of in a bunch, but we're getting through it and I'm getting back on track with all of my Thrive stuff. I uh, actually kind of fell back on it. I haven't been doing my gratitude or anything and I feel so bad because I just, I fell so hard, but I'm coming back and I want to leave you guys with something. I can't even think right now. <laughs> they are, they are, it's, it's like a fire inside me right now. I cannot wait to get back and just do what I love. And I, I miss Thrive so much. Like I miss being happy and I miss like just being me. And I haven't been that lately. And that is, that's the hard part. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> wow, I love that. And like, think about the strength that it took to get on it. Like, this is a declaration of you saying like, I want things to change and I'm ready to come back. And I admire that. And I think that so many times we we judge, like I always say, the way we build our foundation for our business, the way our first couple months go, you know, the mindset, like you have to give yourself grace. You have to understand yeah. every single person's story looks completely different. And whether it clicks in two weeks or whether it clicks in two months or 12 months, it's, it's your story and it's completely fine. And you have to give yourself grace to build that foundation and understand that you're a part of a community that we're going to empower you and carry you through that. And it's okay. Like I said, if you have seasons or you fall off, but I think that it's beautiful that it's the hard times that almost bring us back to say like, this is how bad I need this. Um, and it's admiring that you would even get on that, this and say that to us, because I think that's such a powerful statement, not just like to hold yourself for accountability to say like, I'm back and I'm doing this, but to express like, we all have these incredibly hard times we go through. Right. But we're here as a community to get through them together. So I absolutely love that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You're very welcome. No, I adore you. You're so, so sweet. And like I said, <laughs> I just admire that. Cause like it takes guts to get on and say stuff like that. Cause she was like, I want to talk. And I'm like, okay, I didn't even ask. I was like, whatever you want to talk about, like, if you want to pour into them, like that's totally fine. And I want you guys to know that you always have the freedom to do that. If something's on your heart or you want to share something, or you want to talk to somebody or you need support, just know that we are all 
here for that a hundred percent. So I love you guys. I'm so thankful that we hopped on tonight. I will post this recording. Um, and I hope that you guys have a great night. Bye.